marks the second of three school consolidation public hearings in Kanawha County. This time, it's the future of Grandview Elementary that will be decided by the Kanawha County Board of Ed. News Channel 3's Kimberly Donahue is live right now outside of Westside Middle School where that meeting is getting underway. Mood, what's the mood like there, Kim? Hey, Sarah, good evening. Superintendent Dr. Tom Williams told me last night during Marmette Elementary's consolidation hearing, this is a position no educator ever wants to be put in and go through. And when it comes to giving children a quality education, difficult decisions like this are necessary. As Kanawha County Schools faces declining enrollment, the Board of Education has spent the spring deciding which schools may need to consolidate in order to continue providing a solid education to its students. Superintendent Dr. Tom Williams says at one point, Kanawha County Schools touted upwards of 60,000 students. In February, that estimate was down to around 24,000, forcing consolidation to be considered. We're funded on the number of kids we have, and so we've lost approximately 4,400 students, which equates to about 500 positions in the last 10 years, which is about $30 million in state aid uh, we no longer, re we, we didn't receive because of loss of enrollment. And so when we do that, uh, there's only so long our budget can continue to be balanced with the loss of students and we're at a point now where we have to consolidate schools in order to save money. Wednesday the board will vote to decide if students at Grandview Elementary will stay in their school or close and consolidate students into Mary C. Snow Westside Elementary and Edgewood Elementary. We tried to look for schools where the uh, we didn't have to do any additions to buildings or anything along those lines uh, and it's very low cost uh, to transition the kids. And the board voted unanimously last night to close Marmette Elementary and have those students attend Chesapeake Elementary starting in the 2024 to 2025 school year. However, Dr. Williams also told me that vote needs a final approval by the West Virginia State Board of Education, and that date is to be decided, Sarah. All right, thank you, Kim. And for all schools, if approved for final consolidation, it would not go into effect until the 2024-2025 school school year. One more consolidation public hearing is scheduled for tomorrow to discuss the future of Weimar Elementary School. That's a St. Albans High School and we're that's at six.